What's going on, Taurus? I'm sending you guys love and light. We're checking WTF energy. That's the divine masculine, divine feminine, and karmic in between these two. Divine masculine is trying to put up some boundaries, making self-care a priority, being direct, naming limits, tuning in to oneself. And practicing self-awareness, right? But he's still triggered when he thinks about the divine feminine because of how all that went down. He hates that they're in separation mode. He doesn't like that shit, okay? But he's still sitting in his ego about it, trying to figure out what he wants to do. Fear, anxiety, limiting beliefs, and toxic thinking patterns is keeping him away from his feminine, okay? This divine feminine is talking to her masculine right now. What is she saying, spirit? Please give me time to heal. You lied about being married or committed. I'm ready to be cherished and loved unconditionally. And karma will refund what you funded me. Meaning you're going to get that shit back tenfold, she said, right? This karmic in between these two. What is this energy? He's just scared to leave me because he doesn't want me to ruin his image. I really don't care for intimacy with him. I've manipulated the divine masculine in his dreams. So if any masculines are watching this, pay attention to your dreams. An invasion. I've gone through the divine masculine's phone. Okay, we got one more. I thought about making lies up about the divine masculine to get back at him. Okay. What is the divine feminine saying to this karmic? I'm a divine feminine. You are a karmic soulmate. Please stay in your lane. You and my divine masculine are karmic. You can have them. You will never be me. Face it, you don't measure up. And all you do is manipulate him and control him, dummy. <laughs> Finally, Jack, we're just two women that love the same man for different reasons. All right? I'm sending y'all love and light. Y'all take care.